An extremist cult leader and her followers have set up camp in a small Saskatchewan community. The self-proclaimed Queen of Canada has offered up threats, even calling for a public execution of elected officials. W5's Morella Fernandez on the beliefs and behavior concerning the neighborhood. Welcome to Richmount, a village in the southern part of Saskatchewan. Population, about 120. More now that new neighbors have moved in. They saw a vehicle coming down this road here. And what the heck is that? Last September, longtime resident Roland Davis noticed the convoy right away. She says hard not to. And they definitely noticed her. I could feel someone looking at me or watching me. I spotted someone and they actually had their phone and they were taking pictures. They probably have a thousand pictures of me. Davis says she has no idea why they record her. The orders come from this woman, who calls herself the Queen of Canada. Royal decrees that I have issued, basically removing all of the shackles put by the corporation government. Her name is Romana Didalo. She's a conspiracy theorist who wants to do away with any kind of official authority and punish healthcare workers who vaccinated children during the pandemic. For each child that you have harmed, you will receive not one, but two bullets on your forehead. Dito live streams these messages to tens of thousands of followers every day. And for some, her wish is their command. The mayor of Richmond has received several threatening letters since the group moved in. Like, I would be dumb not to say that it doesn't affect myself and my wife. Like, we keep the drapes closed now and our doors are always locked, double-checked. The RCMP is investigating the death threats, but says they don't have enough evidence to charge anyone. And so far, all other efforts to oust the group have failed. At the W5 town hall, it was clear fear of the unknown is preying on this community. Your little kids come home and ask, why are they videoing us? Why is there a fence around? And our kids don't feel safe. I don't feel safe. I've had to see my family their mental health go down the frickin' drain because they don't want to leave their farm. They have to look over their shoulder. It changes their whole life. Morella Fernandez, CTV News, Richmond, Saskatchewan. And you can see the full report tomorrow. The Cult Queen airs on W5 on CTV this Saturday at 7.